The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. The First Amendment, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. The Second Amendment, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The Third Amendment, no soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in a manner to be prescribed by law. The Fourth Amendment, totally eroded under the modern day system of tyranny, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized tsa have you ever read that fifth amendment no person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia when in actual service in time of war or public danger nor shall any person be subjected for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb, nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor to be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. Sixth Amendment, in all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Seventh Amendment, in suit to common law, where the value in controversy shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved, and no fact tried by a jury shall otherwise be re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. Eighth Amendment, excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. Ninth Amendment, the enumeration of the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. The people retain the other rights. Tenth Amendment, the power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. So in other words, there's a balance of power, and part of that power remains with the individual and the state. How many of these Bill of Rights have they utterly shredded and eroded and defecated upon under all these pretenses of law they have, including chief among them, the indefinite detention bill passed today by the Senate in reconciled form, expected to be passed by President Obama uh, perhaps later today or tomorrow. Remember this day, it is a day to live in infamy, December 15, 2011, exactly 220 years after the Bill of Rights was ratified in 1791. Um, a lot of other people have too. But uh, it's up to you people out there to make this, this document go viral so everybody can see it and see what's happening to the rights. There's very little talk about it. Uh, it might have got a little bit at the very beginning, but enough people wasn't watching the news at the time. They was probably watching uh, Dancing with the Stars and uh, all that goofy crap they got on TV anymore. Or football or basketball or some kind of sports event. It's got everybody's mind occupied so they can argue amongst themselves in the stadium and get mad and argue and bicker and think everything's all good. We're gonna have this forever. Well, folks, only thing I can tell y'all is this. You're not gonna have all that forever. If this bill passes, if there's not enough stink raised from you people, and I really mean this, if there's not enough, enough, the level of the people don't raise up and shout to the top of their lungs and say, 
I ain't gonna take it anymore. People, you're just gonna, you're just gonna be slaves. I mean, what else can there be? I mean, if that's what you want, then you'd be saving a lot of us people out there a lot of time. You know, just come in here and say, oh, you might as well lay down. We don't care. You know, I don't get it. Ron Paul was the only person out there, and Rand Paul was in our Congress. There's a few, there's, well, there were seven that voted against this bill. We know Ron Paul and we know Rand Paul. I don't know who the other five is, or I don't. I'm sure there's a list somewhere. I haven't found it. But I'm sure that those seven people right there need all the help they can get right now. That tells you that we got seven people in Congress. This literally for the people and for the Constitution of the United States. 93? Come on, folks. 93? I mean, 93 voted yes to this bill. Isn't that enough for y'all out there to understand that we're in deep shit? And I literally mean that, people. We're in deep. Deeper than a lot of you people even know. We got time for you to play around and, and do twiddly winks with your damn finger up your ass and, and holler snake. It's over, folks. It ain't time to have a big drink with your buddy and pat him on the back and have a drink with your, your girlfriend and y'all all get naked and jump in a pile. It ain't time for that no more. Playtime's over. You, you've had 35, 40 years of playing. Time to grow up. Time to get your head out of that. Get your head out of the damn sand and start paying attention to what's going on around you. And help get this message out to everybody you know. It's time, people. It's time. You know, it's time for everybody to wake up. Now I don't know if you can or if you can't. Maybe you just been you plain old just drugged up on fluoride water and taking medicine and pills and drinking too much alcohol and smoking too much pot or you smoking too much heroin or cocaine or whatever. If that's the case, <coughs> then you ain't much count no how. But you need to wake up. It's either that or you're going to have to go through some bad withdrawals because you ain't got all that stuff and you can't get it, can't afford it, and can't steal it. So you bad guys that think you're so bad and, and terrible and everything, this affects you too. It affects you cops. It affects you judges. It affects you lawyers. Anyone that lives in the United States, this affects you. It affects your freedom and everybody else's. Do you want your kid to live and be, be a slave? Do you want them to have to work for no money? And